Hey there, and our topic this week, let me move myself out of the way, is measuring precipitation. Um, we're going to do this in a few ways, and let me go over the lectures that we'll be, you'll be looking at this week, or today. <laughs> um, the first is how rainfall is measured, and we'll, I'll talk about rain gauges. The second lecture will be about summarizing and analyzing precipitation data. And then the third thing that we'll do is um, learn how to calculate the mean rainfall in a watershed. So the summarizing and analyzing precipitation and the calculating the mean rainfall in a watershed will be done in lab this week, but you should do the background information before you come to lab. It'll make it go much smoother. So before we get on these topics and I go into those lectures, let's just talk a little bit about why we measure the precipitation. And this just helps with the planning for watershed management. You want to plan for these potential events that are going to cause runoff, um, could damage streams, could cause flooding. You want to know how much water is going to be added to your stream every year because that's where all the water that we're going to be using is going to be in, is going to be in those streams. You want to plan for droughts. So that's why you want to know about your precipitation. You want to know how it's measured, how to look at that data, and how to figure out how much rainfall actually falls in your watershed. So um, I will stop that here, and that's your introduction, and we'll uh, move on to using range gauges or what, what those are all about.